I am giving this 5,000 golden crowns to you and you should give up me. Oh, I cannot. Then he gave 10, 7, 7,000. And then he, oh, saliva coming down. Come. <laughs> and Sanatan Goswami, I will be Darvesh, Muslim Sadhu. I will go to Makkah, I will not be here. You should tell that he was going to Latin and he jumped in the river. Anyhow, we could not found him. He has died, you should tell. And when Hussein Sabata came, they told, and in the meantime, with a servant, Hishan, and he left that place in the night of very, very deep forest. In the forest there were some Dakais having one astrology. Astrologist. Astrologist told, oh, two persons are coming and they have seven uh, eight, eight golden fans. Oh, let them come. And then came, and one person of the type came, and very politely and humbly, they told that, oh, now night you should spend there, and you should take rest, and we will provide you soap, delicious food and everything. Then he took them to their house, and there they thought that we will kill and take. That's eight golden coins. But Sanatana Goswami, very intelligent, why these persons without any gain are... Huh? Why they are expecting so much? So much. There must be something behind it. <laughs> and then he asked his tapan, oh, have you something? Oh, I have something. Why to say, serve you? Give me. Then he kept one and gave seven. Then he gave it to Dakar Sarvar and he became happy. Oh, oh, you have saved me. Today I would have killed you and taken. But you should know that one coin is even with your servant. And then he again went to that servant and told, have you something more? I told, one coin, give me. Huh? Now, you should take it and return back to home. Don't come with me. Uh, this is like a jam. Jam means death. You should return. If you want to do bhajan, I'm telling for this, not a his story. That if you want to do bhajan, give up everything. Sanatan has gave everything. Not a single pie he kept for him. Especially sannyasi should be like that. Nothing. That our attachment should be given to them. That thing. No. And thus Sanatan Goswami came to Varanasi in a Muslim base, in the way his sister's husband, Sri Kant, was there to buy horses for Hussain Singh Bhatta. He saw, oh, oh, Sanatana Prabhu is coming. And he came from Dhum and went where Sanatana Goswami was there. And he saw that, oh, he is like a beggar. And he began to weep. And anyhow he told that I will give you some money. He told, don't give, I don't like, I have everything. Then he, anyhow he requested and gave a boat kambal. Blanket. Blanket. Very precious. And then he took and came in Varanasi, anyhow who you knew by anyone that a sannyasi has come, he is always singing, doing kirtan of Krishna. So in this way he knew and he went there, Chandrasekhar Bhavan, where Mahaprabhu was. 
Tapan Mishra. No, no. Tapan Mishra used to go to take prasadam and used to live in Chandrasekhar house. So she was there. Mahaprabhu told, O Chandrasekhar, go and bring a high class of devotee has come here to meet me. Bring him. He went there. I saw no Vaishnav, Tulsi Mala and other things, Tilak, nothing. He said it a Muslim. Oh. He returned back, told the Prabhu, here in, there is no any high class of devotee. Hmm. Then... Anybody is there? Anybody? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh. oh, bring him, call him. And when Mahaprabhu entered, Mahaprabhu saw, and at once he ran, and, and he was telling, weeping, I'm Muslim now, don't you touch don't touch me, me. don't touch me. Oh, I'm nothing, I'm not touching, I'm touching you to be purify myself. And then, anyhow, he was there. Then Mahaprabhu told, Oh, take him to Ganges, and he should take bath and remove his and save and be like a gentleman and a Vaishnava. <laughs> And then he returned back and took, and he said, then, oh, everything. But he was looking after him. He thought, that, why he is looking after me? Then saw that, oh, I have that boat kambal, very costly. But Mahaprabhu did not like. Then at once he returned back, and he saw that any Bengali sadhu, oh, he has a one ton. Like a queen. And told that, can you give me and take my. Oh, you are joking, joking with me? You are joking not. You should take. And took his. Mahaprabhu San became very happy. Oh, this is the symptom to be a Vaishnava. Nishkin Chanasya Bhagavat. And then he was there. There Mahaprabhu told, Oh, Krishna is very merciful. He had taken you from a dark well, stool well. Beach. He told, I don't know Krishna who is, but I know you only. By your mercy, I have left all these things and come. And after that, Sanatana Goswami, with a request, very, very humble way, he asked, Hey, Ami, Nahi Jani. In, before, he inspired um, Raya Ramananda, gave inspiration in him, and again he asked himself, and by his inspiration, he was answering. Raraman told, I don't know what you are asking. I am like a soup, soup, parrot. What you are inspiring me, I am telling. 